Alrighty, and I'm so excited. So in this footage, you're gonna see the drone looks broken. Like she's glitched in, you can see the camera, she's struggling more than she normally is. And because of that, I landed her and I had a good look at her because I was getting stressed out because there were riders on Snoopy's Racing Railway. Look at the two front seats. There's riders. Okay, so I landed her and I realized the gimbal had just popped out of place and that's all that was wrong. Once I popped it back in place, you're gonna see later on in this video, it's all fixed. So she doesn't have to go in for repairs anymore. Um, I had the whole company send me shipping labels and all that. I was going to send her out for three weeks for repairs. I was waiting until Tundra Twister was done testing. But now she doesn't need to go out. She's fixed. She's good. Um, so with that being said, Snoopy's Racing Railway was handed off to the park today. So good news. The manufacturer of the ride has handed the ride over to the park. And now it is up to the park to get its testing cycles in and approved by TSSA, which will be super easy and quick. Um, that being said, Tundra Twister has made a huge progress today. The op panel ha was installed, okay, and this thing went in quick. It was installed and it was connected so quick. There's a guy up until around like 9.30 p.m. still programming it, getting it ready. So there's a good chance you could see this thing running tomorrow or Wednesday. It is definitely going to cycle sometime in those two days. Um, and that's not where the problems or the the situation starts. So just because she's cycling doesn't mean she's going to open in a couple days. This thing has to complete 500 test cycles. 100 successful test cycles without any problems, but 500 total test cycles. That's insane, guys. That's a really hard thing to do for any sort of ride. So obviously we can't begin to predict, but if I was to give you a an amusement, si an amusement insider's prediction on when this thing's gonna open, I'm gonna predict probably around the May 19th weekend um, with Timberwolf, I could see this ride opening. So we'll see. Um, it could potentially, there's chance it could be sooner, but I'm going to say May 19th is probably the latest you'll see this thing open, um, which is good news. That's not too far away, guys. Okay. Like if you really think about it, it's not too far away. Wonderland's really been knocking it out of the park, finishing these things up. Um, I know that everyone's like, oh, but it's so much later than they were supposed to. It's really not. It, it came down to the weather for Snoopy's and for Tundra Twister, it came down to a part. So from what I understand, that is just speculation. But on the other side of things, outside of those two rides, Splashworks is getting a lot of refurbishments as well. Look, the bridge was painted. They're now painting Lazy River. Um, and they're going to paint a lot of other things in Splashworks as well. So those refurbishments that have been going on in the dry park have been continuing on over to the water park as well. The wave pool is being painted, as you can see there. So it, it, it's, it's really awesome to see Wonderland invest so much money and time into the park parks like total atmosphere now um i i really love it like it, it just shows like care and you you feel it when you're walking around the park so that's really exciting outside of that there has been more survey work going on in kingswood um and i will say this is t the survey work going on in kingswood they started surveying above time warp okay that's telling. That's very telling. So just think about that, guys. Maybe maybe think why they're surveying above time warp. So we'll definitely keep an eye out um, for other things. They are it, it's a total surveying of Kingswood essentially. Um, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out. Um, and I, I'm really excited for Canada's Wonderland's future. Like, I, truthfully, I really am. I had a really good talk with Wonderland Weekly today, and it was just really awesome to bounce ideas off of each other. And, uh, it, like, truthfully, like, it's just, it's just nice to see your home park, like, getting so much love. And I, I, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for both 2020. I'm excited for everything. 2024 sounds really awesome. Uh, 2025 is going to be so awesome. And then if Kingswood isn't 2025, then this is going to be even more awesome in 2027, 2028. So I'm really excited. I definitely hope it's World Expo, just to be honest. I think that I would really like World Expo to expand into Frontier Canada. I hope that we don't have like a really high level themed area outside of World Expo. And then it leads into this poorly themed World Expo area with Flight Deck and Time Warp. Um, so I would really like to see World Expo as a whole, just like, you know, starting maybe even 2024, getting some love, paint, and refurbishment leading up to the next big coaster outside of 2025. So that's my hopes and wishes for um, 
the the, the surveying going on in Kingswood and Action Theater. Um, I will say there are distance markings popping up. I'm going to show you guys in a video tomorrow. I'm really sunburnt and not feeling well at all, but I'll be at Wonderland tomorrow too. Um, and uh, I'll show you guys tomorrow what I'm talking about. Um, but there are survey markings popping up by Windseeker um, and Vortex and um, what's the right called? Skyhawk. So that is more action zone. So again, very telling, very telling, very, very, very telling. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And yeah, I'm really excited. So thank you for watching today's construction update. Um, and hopefully I answered all your questions about Tundra Twister and Snoopy's Racing Railway and 2025 and 2027. And yeah, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.